Welcome to a new day in beautiful snowy Sweden. Uh, today started with a lot of snow and the temperature has dropped a lot. Uh, and for us that is a good thing because yesterday we were struggling a little bit because all the trees uh, they were cleared of snow. And right now you can see here behind me that the snow or the frost has returned to the leaves of all those, uh, those trees here. And yeah, we just uh, started at this point here. The snow stopped for a couple of minutes. There's no wind at all. So we did a couple of drone shots from up here. I finally managed to get my drone to work yesterday. Uh, it needed some updates. So I found a Wi-Fi spot, uh, updated everything that I needed. And now it works again. So uh, I don't do much drone photography, but in environments like this, it's just asking for it. So uh, yeah, these are the drone shots that I just took. And, uh, we're on our way uh, to see uh, what we can find. Uh, we're going to one of the most beautiful roads, uh, apparently in this region, and just see what we can find. So uh, let's head on into beautiful Sweden. So once again, it's a little bit of a difficult day this morning. Uh, we were at the musk ox center here. There are so, some wild musk ox here in Sweden. And we were actually hoping to do a tour there, but the tour just left and we had to wait for a couple of hours for the next tour. And we didn't have that time because it's pretty far away from our uh, yeah, place where we are sleeping. So uh, we decided to go and drive around here, see if we can find other stuff. Um, then we ended up at this location here where you can see this crystal clear uh, snow field here and every now and then there are a couple of little bushes uh, in it and you can make just really uh, yeah how do you say it you can really isolate these little images and create very minimalistic things and right now we are on our way to a national park here uh, we don't know if the road is cleared until now it is so yeah, we're hopeful that uh, it's possible to uh, to go there. So on our way, we are entertaining ourselves with these <laughs> minimalistic shots. So uh, yeah, uh, one tip, uh, first tip, uh, if you're shooting in these snowy conditions, try to overexpose your images a little bit. Uh, the snow just looks a little bit better when you uh, yeah uh, shoot these. Uh, if you if you take a normal exposure, it looks a little bit gray. Uh, when you take it to plus 0 0.7 or one stop above it just looks a little bit more tranquil a little bit more white so uh, it's always nice to do that and uh, yeah uh, let's see what's at the end of this road if it's accessible and if we can do some nice uh, photography there Right now I'm doing some lazy roadside photography. You know, I'm uh, sitting on the right side of the of the car right now, and there is a little shack over there in a crystal clear snow field with some snow covered trees behind it, and also uh, some fresh snowfall coming down at the moment. It just looks really tranquil, and especially this this shack looks really nice. So uh, I let Walter get into the cold. You know. It's, uh, it's my car, I rented it, so, uh, huh? but uh, <laughs> no, I'm sitting on the right side, so I could just, just easily photograph this shack right from my car here, you know, what more do you want, just a heater on here, and 
taking this image. Just uh, yeah, really nice. Something we didn't uh, we didn't have before this uh, this trip. So uh, this is the image of the the little shack in the field of snow. So we stopped next to the road here for uh, some uh, sanitation, <laughs> but uh, it's actually a really nice spot for some extremely minimalistic images. So a little bit further away, there's one bigger tree and two really small bushes uh, in the distance that I'm trying to frame up as yeah, something really abstract, minimalistic. And also here in the foreground, if you see down here, there are a couple of fences completely snowed in. And I try to take a picture of this fence here in the bottom. And then I noticed this little bush over here. And I'll show it here on the side. Um, it just looks really nice, really minimalistic, abstract. But it, it fits the frame. It's razor sharp. There's nothing, nothing going out uh, around nothing going on around this bush it just looks really tranquil and that's what I was looking for some kind of minimalistic shot like this and I also shot one branch of this tree over there uh, hanging a bit down covered in snow um, so there are lots of possibilities from a little spot and we were a bit complaining in the car that we couldn't find nice shots and maybe we're just uh, looking for the wrong things you know there's so much to photograph but you just have to look for it you, you have to be open for it and now that I'm standing out here I'm just looking at this tree and I'm thinking yeah this is the kind of image that I like you know uh, both this one and the one with the big bush with the two small ones but uh, yeah definitely uh, some nice images and worth the stop so uh, yeah let's head on and uh, we're still not at that road that I mentioned, which is supposed to be one of the most beautiful roads uh, here. Uh, but uh, we will be there later on. It's about five kilometers and then we're turning to the right and then we're on the, on the right uh, road. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's head on. And uh, these are the images that I just took from this uh, spot over here. So tip number two that I'm having for you, if you want to travel to Sweden, uh, to this Arctic winter wonderland, 
uh, is wear warm clothing. It's much colder than you expect, especially when you're standing somewhere for a couple of minutes. Uh, it's just extremely cold. Right now I have my gloves in the car, but uh, uh, I'm wearing double socks, uh, two uh, <laughs> two pants, uh, thermal underwear, thermal shirt, a, a, a sweater, a jacket, uh, normally my hat and my gloves. Uh, but I just got out of the car to record this little clip. So uh, whatever you do, and especially if you want to go out at night, make sure that you wear appropriate clothing um, because it's undoable. You know, it's extremely cold sometimes. Um, and you don't wanna you want don't wanna end up missing shots because you wanna go back home because you're so fucking cold, that's for sure. So we just stopped next to the car because we are driving through a magical location. I'm just showing you. I, I don't see an image here, but look at all the snow on these trees here. It's just absolutely magical conditions. And look at the car. You don't have to be afraid for uh, traffic controls. <laughs> no one can read the license plates anymore. But also on this side here, just take a look. It's just a real tranquil, fresh layer of snow here. And all those trees are covered with that snow, creating that magical atmosphere. We just had a stop down the road here uh, two to three times. But there were a lot of cars uh, behind us then. And th it was real... Uh, how do you see it? The, the road was really uh, small, so we uh, we had to let the other cars pass, and uh, uh, we couldn't stop and I couldn't film. But there were a couple of farmhouses there. Those those uh, characteristic red uh, Swedish farmhouses, uh, looking really good, and also. Um, uh, we saw some uh, bulls, big bulls, uh, some old sheds, and we. We photographed it all, but I couldn't film it, but it was just so nice and all with this fresh snow coming down, yeah, creating just magic. I can't describe it any, anything else than magic. You know, this, it's, it's, I don't see an image here, but it also doesn't matter, you know, uh, this is, this is Sweden. This is what I love, this atmosphere, absolutely beautiful. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna, uh, walk around this road for a couple of minutes just to see if we can find a composition this is a bit of a wider road here which we can park on and there's not much traffic in uh, this section until now so uh, yeah very happy we actually saw a squirrel earlier on uh, we saw some reindeer uh, but everything just left when we came there so yeah we saw everything we wanted today uh, here in Sweden uh, Except not that many good images, I think. <laughs> a lot of minimalistic uh, stuff, a couple of nice drone shots. But with a few like this, it doesn't matter if the photography isn't that good. You still have to keep enjoying the environment. Don't forget that, you know, when you're out, it's just absolutely amazing. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to walk around here, see if I can find a shot in this setting. But it's not that clear. It's not immediately one shot that uh, I noticed. So. Uh, Let's see if we can find something.
so and that's how you prevent getting a speeding ticket just leave the snow on the license plate but uh, unfortunately in sweden they traffic control is from the front and not from the back like in the netherlands so <laughs> i can still clear this uh, number plate here so i just uh, took out the drone and flew over this area and you can really see how uh, winter wonderland this area is and i'm actually quite enjoying the drone today you know uh, a couple of days ago i was complaining uh, that it was the worst thing ever but when stuff works uh, it's nice to use it but the only problem with the drone is that you constantly have to do stuff uh, to keep it working and that's not what i really <laughs> like to do but in this setting i'm so happy that i brought it just for some video footage also i, I think a couple of nice images uh, but it's just a an amazing area in the middle of nowhere and the most beautiful thing is and i hope you can hear it uh, so let me stay silent for just a second There is absolutely nothing you can hear, not even a bit of wind, nothing. It's such a strange feeling coming from the Netherlands that you're standing in a place where there's nothing to hear. Uh, yeah, amazing. I have no words for it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna continue. And these are the drone shots that I just, uh, just took. I hope you like them. One thing that I want to show you, just have a look here. This is the road that we've been driving on the whole day. It's extremely slippery. It's one giant plate of ice. And in the Netherlands, this would result into an entire uh, traffic chaos. But right here, I don't know what it is with these tires here in Sweden, but you can just drive over it with 80, 90, 100, uh, we're most of the time driving 70, 80, because we're looking around. But the Swedish people, they just <laughs> drive 100, 110 uh, over these roads. Uh, it's just amazing. And the car has so much grip on these roads. And they are uh, designed for this weather, you know. Normal, in the Netherlands, you have a lot of uh, sharp corners. But right here, uh, all these corners, they, they flow really nicely. So you don't have to uh, adjust your steering. Uh, to the point where the car starts to slip and that's just uh, really nice so driving in Sweden is a very very nice experience so yesterday we were driving uh, yesterday we started at this specific spot and now we uh, drove by the same spot again but now if you look at the mountain on the other side it's completely covered in fog and not disturbing anymore and all those trees are covered with a layer of snow which don't make it as dom dominant in the frame and yesterday i was talking to you about it's last week's video actually uh, this tree here with all the birds nests in it and um, i just couldn't frame it up that nice because of the the top of the tree uh, the top of the tree was in that mountain on the other side and right now it's so absolutely minimalistic <laughs> to shoot this uh, uh, tree over here because it's completely free from the background so really nice and also uh, if i look walk a little bit further to this side let's have a look i can now real easily shoot all those islands over there in the bottom of the frame and then on the top of the frame yeah this this mountain uh, range disappearing in the background so you get a couple of different layers in the image really nice and um, also so it's three shots on one spot the tree which i started out with in last week's video um, it's now covered in snow there's absolutely no wind so i don't have to be afraid of 
those leaves uh, not being in focus. And there's a fresh layer of snow. The background is disappearing, so it's absolute minimalistic to the to the top. But I just really love this kind of uh, images. So uh, yeah, taking all those three shots, uh, completely different, but uh, yeah, all very nice. So uh, these are the shots that I uh, just took. So tip number three that I have for you, um, uh, considering uh, the photography here in Sweden, um, just let go of your expectations. Don't plan anything at home because the situation here is totally different than you can expect. Uh, not every road is open. Uh, in fact, all roads are closed. Only the main roads are cleaned of snow. Uh, you can't just walk out uh, into the fields here you're uh, in the snow like this so you can make a whole planning of locations that you want to visit but you you can put it all in the trash because you can't you just can't do it it's impossible so just go here and adapt to the situation see what's possible see which roads are open uh, try different stuff but uh, yeah don't don't set any expectations at home for particular images that you want because you will be disappointed uh, when you find out that you you can't reach those locations. So that's what we're doing here over the past three days. We're just adapting, trying to uh, adapt to the conditions, uh, driving over roads that are open and uh, yeah, looking for uh, those, those shots um, that are possible. So uh, yeah, that was tip number three. <laughs> so right now it's 3.45 p.m. And as you can see behind me, all the light is already gone. So. Uh, yeah, we're back in our uh, holiday home. We're gonna have something to eat and then I'm gonna look at those images of today. Uh, just on the road here, driving into this little uh, town that we're staying, there was a reindeer, at, at least I think it's a reindeer or maybe it was a, an elk or a moose. I don't know how you call it in the, uh, in English. We call it an eland, uh, but I'm not sure what it was. It didn't have the, the horns on his head. So uh, not quite sure. I'll ask uh, my friend here uh, who lives here uh, later on. Um, but I don't know if these images were sharp. It was a really nice setting in the middle of a big snow field, so I could really isolate uh, uh, the animal in the snow. But even on ISO 6400, it was quite difficult to, uh, to get that image. So uh, this is it for today. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a difficult uh, day, I think, but some surprising nice images. Uh, at least that's what I hope they are. Uh, at least all the snow has come back on the trees. Hopefully tomorrow there will be some light again. There's some light uh, predicted. So really happy with, uh, with that. Um, yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget, please push the thumbs up button. Uh, you will massively help this channel to grow. And uh, uh, please leave a comment. I always like to engage with everybody watching. And let me know what you think of these uh, images. And uh, if you didn't already, there's a subscribe button underneath this video. If you push that and select all on the notification bell, you will get a message when I release uh, my next video. Uh, next video will probably still be in Sweden. Uh, I'm not going home yet. So uh, yeah, hopefully in the next uh, two, three days, I will be able to make another video that will mean that it will be uh, great conditions. So uh, 
yeah, that's it for today. Uh, no Northern Lights predicted, so we can stay indoor today. Uh, yesterday it was predicted, but it didn't come. Tomorrow is another uh, small chance, so hopefully for that. Uh, yesterday I did take some shots of the stars and from myself at night, uh, but uh, not of the Northern Lights. So I will show them after this clip, including the reindeer or elk or moose or thing that we saw next to the road. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.